Hello and welcome to the Daily Forex Report for September 4th. We are looking at the U.S.-Japanese yen pair. This pair closed up during this last session, uh, is moving sideways overall. Look for it to potentially go as high as 78.70, possibly as low as 77.95. Look for some resistance around 78.50 and look for some support around 78.00. Now the Euro USD pair, this pair uh, continues to move sideways, had a few spikes to the upside and downside, currently moving lower. Look for it to potentially uh, go as high on reversal up to 126.76, possibly down to 124.62. Look for some resistance around 126.35 and look for some support around 124.85. Now the pound US dollar pair, this pair closed lower, is moving sideways. We are looking for it to potentially go as high as 159.15, possibly as low as 158.03. Look for some resistance around 159.11 and look for some support around 158.17. Now the US Swiss, this pair closed up during this last session. Look for it to potentially go as high as 0.9636 possibly as low as 0.9470. Look for some resistance around 0.9615 and look for some support around 0.9495. Okay, well that pretty much wraps us up there. Let's go ahead and take a look at the news announcements. Okay, we have uh, the Bank of Canada releasing their rate decision at 9 a.m. Eastern. The consensus on that is that we have 1.0% uh, hold at 1.0%. Then at 9.30 p.m. Eastern, we have the Australian employment change for August being released. They're showing a drop from 14.0K down to 5.0K. Uh, unemployment rate, they're showing a an slight increase from 5.2% up to 5.3%. As long as it doesn't come out significantly higher than what's projected, it shouldn't be too, uh, too bad of news for the Australian dollar. Okay, what am I looking for during this next session? Well, if we take a look uh, at the, let's take a look at the Euro USD. We talked about uh, not too long ago, we talked about the fact that uh, it is reaching or has almost touched a long term trend line that's uh, been forming. And let's take a look at that. Let's zoom back into that. You can see it pretty much touched it on the week time frame, did not close, uh, did not close above it, uh, and is starting to head down uh, to the downside. So let's take a look at. Remember, we are still currently in an uptrend. It's just that uh, over the past several, uh, o over the past session or two, we've been in an uptrend. So drop down to the 15 minute time frame and let's take a look at what's happening. You can see here we have a long term trend line right here that we are getting very, very close to. I say long term, it's not as long as the week. But nonetheless, we've seen a drop. Uh, yesterday and then it looks like or today rather uh, and then we have uh, a point at which we're getting very very close to the, a trend line to the downside I do believe if we get a break and a close below it that we could see prices even move lower so definitely keep an eye on this currently uh, if it were to break through on the 15 minute we're looking at 125.18 uh, the interesting thing about that, though, is that uh, if you enter there, you're getting real close to that. You're only 18 pips away from a zero zero level. So at that point, you're going to need to uh, be very cautious as to potential uh, reversals. Now we do have, you can see here, previous areas of resistance that are now being uh, most likely will be support there. If it gets a break to the downside. Uh, we should see it drop at least 18 pips, if not 20 pips to the downside, 26 down to here, to get down to the previous areas of support that we had in the same area. Well, I hope that helps. And until next time, this is Jason Fielder. Good trading.